What's going on everybody, it's your boy Smeez the Trackstar and welcome back to another dancehall video tutorial. Another one here we are go master a track, right? Now, the artist in this case is I believe Kafar Moore and it's produced by I believe Bushmaster Records, but let me double check. Yeah, so it's Bushmaster Beats, or that's what's in an email, right? So, um, cool track. As you can see, it's not a lot of dynamics in the track. And when I say dynamics, I talk about, you know, just looking for peaks, you know what I mean? High spots and low spots. That's what I mean by dynamics. So I don't see a lot of that. So we we'll probably have to go, you know, do things for introduce dynamics or whatever. But we get to that. Um, let's play the track now and you know just take our first notes and listen to what we could uh, enhance right but before we do that the very first thing we want to do is we want to make sure so you have a nice like a fade out and also a small fade in just to get rid of any clicks and any pops right so i yeah, want to do that first you know we'll take a listen and let me say write down what we can bring up what we can take away what we can clean up you know what we can make sound better right so let's get into it network so we get work yeah. Every day we had more zeros to my bank account. Bricks from bricks to my bank account. Me have better things to go on the boat. Like scholarship because funds are known. Stock market and stock exchange system is a maze with one escape. Investing my money at the real estate. When my top top business and real estate. Wrong broke badness. You know nothing on my leg. Light years ahead, them can't catch up with my speed. If I tell you who I link with, they would believe. My status higher than on a queen. Network. So we get work, investment, future, for set first I know, top scam about, man, an expert Every week, me collect something at the Western Network, so me get work Put it in the house, profit, I forget turn I know, top scam about, man, an expert Every week, me collect something at the Western Now we're gonna work, we can't tell no man asleep And the boom, and said the word, we just could live on the beach Fly away the way, no one out of my reach Have the time and money, because she'll live for my dreams Now we see an LT instead of buy fast food Me let me really empty is at the 21st century Any minute them I get PF in the end is Network, so we get work Investment, through chap is at first I know, top scam about money expert Every week me collect something at the best Network Alright, so my first impressions um, As far as I'm feeling, I can improve And we can get rid of There is this um, Vocal effect or this telephone effect That all I'm ad libs Them I run through it, constantly all through the song So we are gonna clean up that a little bit. Um, add a little bit more body, a little bit more punch to the kick, so it knock a little bit harder. Um, we'll probably bring back the bass a little bit, bring forward the kick. Um, in vocals, definitely want to brighten up, and the track overall want to really widen out. You know, I mean, want to add some some um, some depth, some space, you know, some fatness or whatever to the track. So that's exactly where we are going aspire for do so let's get started we're not in a dw where we can just loop a perfect you know loop or whatever so we're just like a loop out one nice little section where we can constantly listen to while we are do all our changes right so let's get started so the first thing we will load up on eq and i'll make sure so we're using this in a digital digital to get more um curves and more stuff where you can do i will max out all our bands them it not really matter we just want as many as available so now we are gonna um start the whole eqing process so the very first thing on me always do and it doesn't really matter if this is a rhythm or if this is a song the very first thing on me always do is a low pass and a high pass filter right high pass the low end low pass the high end so we're gonna set the slope let's just um narrow this out So apparently the slope does not want to change, which is very, very weird. I don't get that. I don't want to move from 6 dB per active. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, so 
that's very, very weird. Alright, let's get rid of this EQ. You see that EQ? And let's see what's going on here. Alright, there we go. So let's change this to a high pass. And of course, there we go. 40. Don't want to get rid of you know, the low end. There we go. So typical, I go for anywhere above 30, sometimes even up to like 50. And it's really all about just keep going until you notice so you start lose. All right, cool. So on the top end side now, we'll do the same exact thing. Low pass, and we'll do 24 and filter. But the frequency, we are going to set that to 19, 980. And basically, like what I said, what we are doing right now is we just a clean up the track. So that's without it. And then another thing too. Mastering is a subtle thing. It's not something where you're going to notice on drastic change. Like when you mix and you turn off all of the plugins versus when I turn on all of the plugins. You're not going to notice this big drastic changes. That's not what mastering is about. It's about the simple subtle things we can do to make the track sound better. So when we bypass and unbypass this, it's going to be a very subtle thing, but it definitely are going to make the track sound cleaner as opposed to with the filters off. You understand what I'm saying? So don't expect to hear this massive, massive change. It's, very, it's a very subtle thing. Yeah, just listen to even in vocals how that comes out. Yeah, and the reason for that is because you're simply by getting rid of the low end shit where you don't need, getting rid of the top high end stuff where you don't need, you allow the stuff where you keep for shine. Brighter, that's the whole point of mastering. You polish the mix, you understand? So let's continue on. And this EQ, like I said, we just had the corrective stuff. We are get rid of stuff, you know, we are the surgical stuff. We're not gonna go too crazy with it because we can add another EQ in the chain, but we just want you know do certain little things that we can fix now and not really have to worry about it later. Now, there's another thing one more point out when I said there's like this telephone effect running all throughout the song. So we are gonna pinpoint where that really dominate and then we are gonna um we are gonna um kinda we are gonna get rid of that. Or no, just kinda clean it up a little bit. All right, feel like I like that. So I'll just take out, you know, a nice two or three dB, nothing too crazy. And then another thing what we can do is because we figure out, say, right, I say it's kind of dominant, all we have to do is double this and go up one octave. If you, Basically, if you double a frequency, you go up an octave, right? So this is 616. So at 1232, that's a, um, an octave higher than the 616. You understand? So let's go on 1232. That's one octave higher, right? So let's turn off number four. And we don't do exactly the same thing. We'll take out 2.2 dB. And we're going to do the same Q, which is 12. Just bypass. Alright, 
And just the vocals, just, you know, it'll come forward, you know, we'll bring it to life. You understand what I say? So, that's cool. Let's continue on. Because, no, the truck, like I said, it, it looks like it a lock dynamics. You understand what I say? You know, very dynamic. Matter of fact, let's, let's do this. Let's, um, let's bring this over into um, FL Studio and take a look and see. What the dynamics looking like? As you can see, like I'm saying, exactly. There's no crazy dynamics in the track. You understand? For example, let's show you exactly what a track look like with you know with a lot of dynamics in it. If we can find some quick, here we go. And don't pay attention to the size of the waveform. Just look at the energy. You know what I mean? This is kind of flat and, you know, constant where this is. You have highs and you have lows. You know, the more highs and lows you have is the more better the music sound because it's dynamic. The emotions can change. But it's not a problem. We can introduce, you know, like I said, dynamics. And, you know, we have ways to do that. So I just kind of want to confirm, say, that exactly what um, was going on. So now, um, how we introduce dynamics. We have a multitude of ways. We can use an EQ, we can use a compressor, we can use a gate. Um, in this situation, we'll use an EQ um, like a compressor, a dynamic EQ. It's not a compressor, but, you know, them kind of operate the same way. So, let's um, get started. Um, so, let's introduce and let me say, we want to bring out the kick a little bit. So, we don't come to this first band here. We don't make sure so this set to a bell curve. And with our um, pinpoint, let's solo out to find out where they keep most dominant. So right in this area, right? Cool. But what we don't do is, if you notice, even though me and bring up the area, notice when the kick play. Because a dynamic EQ is going down instead of up, and that's because we have a constant boost upon that cert that's you know specific fixed frequency right there. So you know, so that's cool. Um, let's see. All right, cool. So no difference. Now let's find this near. So we'll continue on, we'll do another bell curve, see me, we'll do a little bit of a wider one. Nice. 
Alright, cool. Let's continue. So the odd and exciter now, right? And the reason I put the exciter, typically I'm got EQ compressor, right? But I want to put the exciter before the compressor because I want to kind of bring up the, the top end of the track in vocals and all of that stuff. I want to kind of add a little bit of energy to it before we get into compression you know so we have at least a little bit more dynamics let me say and we are going to talk about dynamics a lot because it's very important and there's not a lot of it in this track how it mix you understand um so we have to kind of inject that in the song um and we are do it from a wave file so we have to kind of be careful but just be mindful at the same time of exactly what we are doing so what we are going to know is we're going to just um separate out all of the frequencies them typically would I just press learn and make eyes to figure out the frequencies them itself but in this situation I'm going to do that myself so we're going to solo out the low end and we're going to do all our own crossover points them All right, cool. So now we're gonna work in the mids and the top, right? So let's solo out this. Let's switch this mode from triode to tip. What I'll put this at twenty percent. Not twenty percent. Sorry, man. Think about the mix, man. I'll put this about five. Listen to the difference. That's without, and that's with, right? So we just have to, you know, find a good mixture. Without, and with it. Attention to how the vocals pop out. We are going to you know, compress, we are going to do a little bit of compression, very soft compression, we are not going to do too much compression at all. And we will start, we will try if you have if the vintage compressor first, you know, for more of a, you know, more of a old school type of um, compression, um, um, more of a old school compression um, 
not sound, but um, just behavior, just how the, you know the old, more of the old school compressor behavior as opposed to like the digital modern day VST and all of that type of stuff. So let's let's see if that works better than the the typical compressor. And if it don't, then we can just use the typical compressor. So let's bring the threshold all the way up to zero. Let's set a ratio to some very very gentle. I got a one point seven point two. Why this thing just? But I mean, 1.7.1. Sorry about that. Um, attack, we are going to do 30 milliseconds. Release, we are going to do absolute fastest, which is 30 milliseconds. That's fine. We don't take off this um, automatically adjust, which is auto gain. We are going to get rid of that. We add back our own again. And we want more of a smooth compression setting. So now let's dial in and, um, and get to, to work. So me get work. So let's see. We're average about one or so dB of gain reduction, right? So let's add back a dB and a half. Cool. And then let's play around with the auto gain and see which one sounds better. So this is with the regular, my manual 1.5. And then this is with the art again. The stock exchange the system is a maze with one escape. Yeah. Investing no money at the real estate. When my top top business and real estate broke, broke, but this is not in my leg. Light years ahead, them can't catch up with my speed. If I tell them over link, they would believe. My status higher than on a queen. Network, so we get work. Investment, future. Mm. To be honest, the art again doesn't sound too bad. So we roll with it. That's fine. Um, we now get you know this over compressed sound, but we get you know some smooth kind of what I call glue. You know, kind of just bring everything together type of compression, which is exactly what you know we did that aim for. You understand what I say? So that's perfectly fine. So let's continue on. So we have EQ, EQ, excitement, our harmonics, and we have compression. So you know. We don't go back into another EQ now. And the, the whole point of this EQ is just to you know, enhance the stuff what we like. Like the um the analog curve a little bit more. This are the side information. This are the middle. So let's turn off the middle. Let's solo out the side. Right, so this are the mid EQ, right? That's so. all. This are the side EQ, right? So now, you know, we have um, the ability now to 
bring up the information on the side. It's kind of doing some imaging, right? And we don't need BS and all of that type of stuff on the side. So that's the mid side, or this is the mid EQ, and that's the side. So now, let's listen. That's without the EQ completely. You know, just listen to this little bit of wit that get added to the track, you know what I mean? It's not a lot, you know, but, and we are going to take care of that in a second, but it just add a little bit of um, wideness, a little bit of um, expansion to the track. Make it a little bit wider, you know, get like a more of a modern day, you know, dance hall pop, you know, kind of sound, because that's really where the whole wideness thing come from. It's like pop music, so um, that's why we are use this EQ, though. We're not take away nothing, you know, we're not really... Do not for correct anything. We are do everything for enhance. You know, so basically in the mids, we are take out some of the um which it looks similar as far as the frequencies, but if you notice them are do different things. You know, so we are take out things for enhance certain things, especially what don't what are not needed in the um mid and then in the side. Cool. So out of that we will go into the imager, which is by far probably well, that's a personally my favorite imager um, on the market. Um, so what we're going to do is to keep everything consistent, we're going to get the same crossover points what we use in the Exciter. So we have 158, 487, and 3.7K. So the first one is 158. The second one is what? 457. And then the third was 3.7K. Cool. So now, let's image. So we'll start with the mids once again. The low end stuff, typically we'll go fully mono with that. Listen to the sides. Okay, so now listen to the, the wideness of the truck. Finally, I'm going to the maximizer. And this is where we crank levers. So like I said, the track is not very dynamic. And, you know, thankfully, Isotope have modes over here for kind of cater to different type of songs. So the first one, which is um, ISRC, I-L or L-L, you know, smooth and thick limiting for your rich sound with low latency. Then ISRC1 or IRC1. Um, smooth and thick limiting for your richer sound so pretty much the same thing this first one is just a low latency mode for this so IRC2 is clear and sharp limiting to preserve peaks we don't have a lot of peaks you understand so that really wouldn't benefit um, what we have a go on then we have surgical limiting tailored to your audio I like this right 
And then as you can see, we have a balance, a crisp, and clipping. We are going to do clipping. And the reason why I'm going to do clipping is because clipping no go allow me to really drive the maximizer and get the peaks, them up, you understand, and once again reinforce the dynamic range thing we may talk about all this um, time. So we are going to do super fast on the um, attack and release here. Steer your independence, we are going to put that at 1. Now we're not going to put that 100. We'll lock this and we'll bring up both of them. We'll do about 35, 40. And what that do is basically it, it tell the limiter like, hey, if something on the left side go over the threshold, don't compress both sides, you understand what I'm saying? So it'll try to keep them independent. So if something on the left go high, then it now go compress the right. If something on the right go high, it now go compress the left. So it'll try to keep the compression um kind of uniform between the two sounds and try to keep a balance. So um let's figure out with threshold, you know, and of course we're master to get the levels to minus 0 0.3. Um and also we are try to get this. So we're we gonna do a few different masters, right? And we're gonna bounce this track a few different times. So we're gonna do um a Spotify, a YouTube, and of course um a CD master. Everything of a different um level. So let's um take this to, to Google, right? And let's look on um LUFS for different platforms. And as you can see, so for iTunes, minus 15 to minus 17, YouTube, minus 12 to minus 14, and Spotify, minus 13. So we are got EMF minus 9, 13, 12, and 15, right? So what we are going to do is we're going to do the first. We're going to do the minus 9 first, which is the CD master. So we're going to press learn threshold and then... Isotope now I go scan and figure out where the threshold should be set to get a consistent minus nine LUFS. Um I would just set the ceiling to minus 0 0.3. So let's go back to the top and then isotope now will go through and self-adjust the threshold to figure out the, the proper um threshold um, um threshold number. Network that's so how we get work Yeah Every day we had more zeros to my bank account Bricks from the bitch to my bank account Me up better things to go on the boat Like scholarship because funds I know Stock market and stock exchange The system is amazed with one escape Investing my money at the real estate When my top top business and real estate From crook but missing on nothing on my leg Light years ahead them can catch up with my speed If I tell you who I link with you who they believe My status higher than on a queen Western. I'm not gonna work, we can't tell no man asleep on the boom and say the word, we just can chip on the bitch. Fly away the way no one know that we reach. Have the time and money because you live for my dream. We now we see an unhealthy instead of buy fast food. We live my belly empty. One of the riches at the 21st century. Any minute them I get pay if you not end it. Network, so we get work. Investment, future, chop a set first. I know that scam about man an expert. Every week me collect something at the Western. Network, so we get work. Put in the US profit of it. All right, so somewhere in the, you know, minus 10 and a half, 10.2, 10.7, we just like average it out and say minus 10 and a half, right? Because, like I said, the farm is pretty consistent, so this number will be pretty much consistent with around this range. So, so minus 10 and a half, forget this to minus 9 LUFS, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to go up at the top, we are going to file, we are going to export audio files, and then we are going to bounce this out, Kafar more network, and we are going to put um, minus 9 LUFS. Cool. Um, and then also now, what we are going to do is, I'm not going to really just go through and do it. The process is going to be the same thing, and the video is about 30 minutes right now. So we are going to skip ahead to after my bunks out all of them, and then we can take a listen to the difference in volume levels between all of them. So, of course, see you in FL Studio in about <laughs> two or three seconds. All right, so yeah. For the back in the FL, we have um, all of the masters bone stout. So let's drag these in. 
So we have masters for iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and CD. And um, of course, you'll be able to tell the difference in the WAV file, you know, in the, the look of it. So this would be the CD. This is the YouTube. Then the minus 13 is Spotify. And minus 15 is iTunes. So let's, you know, take a listen. Um, we'll go through them randomly and, you know, just kind of show exactly what I'll go on. So, of course, the CD Master is going to be the hottest one or the loudest one. So, let's start there and let's, you know, flip between and see if we can really notice a, a difference, you know. And before me even do that, um, there's this thing where people always ask, well, yeah, which one if you upload? I always upload the minus nine. Typical when my master, to be honest, I do not bounce out individual master files for the different streaming services. I upload one master at minus 10, I think, most of the time. And um, I never have any issues. You understand what I say? So it's um, a thing where I feel like these um, levels and loudness stands and all of that, loudness standards and all of that is, is not really a thing where you need to be strict on because the companies them themselves that need to enforce that don't really enforce it. So it's just a thing. Um, you can't bounce all of the files separate, but typically like I'm saying, only do one CD master and send that off to the distributor. So let's get to into it and start um, listening and um, analyzing. So this is the CD. I remember CD, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes. Network. So we get work. Oh, and also, let's bring in the original file as well. So this is the the mix that got sent to me at the bottom. Network. So we get work. Yeah. Every day we add more zeros to my bank account. Bricks from bricks to my bank account. Me up. Better things to go on the boat Like scholarship with a sponsor now Stock market and stock exchange The system is a maze with one escape Investing my money at the realest way When my top top business and real estate Brum brum badness in honor in my leg Light years ahead them can't catch up with my speed If I tell you who I link with you would you believe My status higher than on a queen Network so we get work Investment future for set first and a first Top scam about man a expert Every week me collect something at the western Remember, how many that's when that try to get the kick for pop out? Listen to the kick, you know. So overall, you know, we have a, a very, you know, what I say, turn out well. <laughs> yeah, man, let me say, we did I try to get the kick for pop out and the kick trung up, you know, and firm, you understand? That's exactly what we was going for. So until next time, it's your boy, SB is the track star. Hopefully you learn something. Hopefully me explain the master and concept a little bit better to you. Peace. <laughs> 